Hello, my name is Daniel. Today we're reading Little Goose's Autumn by Ellie Woolard and Bryony Mae Smith. So get comfy and I'll begin. While the fields burst with flowers the whole summer long, a tiny grey goose grew bigger and strong. And she thought to herself as she splashed and she swam, This world is so fine and how happy I am! But then the green leaves turned orange and gold as the air became tinged with a promise of cold. And one apple-red, dappled-red, breezy-blown day, when the goose went down to the lakeside to play, she felt in her heart a sharp tugging pain, like a strange kind of longing she couldn't explain. And she thought, I've got something important to do, but what could it be, if only I knew? She spotted some beavers at work up ahead. What do you do in the autumn, she said. And they answered, We bite through the trees to get wood, which we use to make homes that feel cosy and good. That's what I'll do, the goose said. I'll make this tree fall. But she found that the tree wouldn't topple at all. Then she spotted some squirrels and said, Tell me, please, what do you do on cool mornings like these? And they answered, We're storing our nuts in the ground, so in winter there's plenty of food to go round. Of course, said the goose, that's what I will do too, but digging a hole wasn't easy to do. Then she spotted some bears and said, Tell me, my friends, what do you do when the warm weather ends? And they answered, We're building a den, soft and deep, where in winter we'll curl in a safe warm sleep. Me too, said the goose. That's what I'll do today. But all of her leaves simply fluttered away. Oh dear, thought the goose, I do everything wrong. How should I be? Can I ever belong? And waddling away, she went off to hide, feeling ever so tiny and silly inside. Little goose, she thought the wind called to her, come on. But then she listened, the whisper was gone. I suppose I should go back home, the goose said. But what was that shadow that loomed overhead? Was it a beast with a long, sharp beak who could gobble a goose so tiny and weak? Or was it a monster whose wings were so vast they could banish the sun as it rushed on past? Oh, what shall I do? The goose thought with a cry, and then she glanced up and saw in the sky. Not a monster at all, but creatures like her, whose wings stroked the wind with a soft, strong whirr. Now I know, cried the goose, now I know what to do. And she lifted her head up high, and she flew. Feeling free as the skittering breath of the breeze, she soared over mountains and rivers and trees, always pursuing the voice of the throng who called, Little goose, join the flock, come along. We're off to the south, where the air warms our wings, where even in winter the sunshine still sings. Oh yes, said the goose, that's what I'll do as well. And as she rose upwards, she felt her heart swell with the joy of the wind as it danced and it swirled. Oh, this, thought the goose, is my place in the world. The sun slipped low, then out peeped the moon, as the goose's old friends called out, Please return soon! 
and she cried from the sky's vast oceans of black. Goodbye, and I promise in spring I'll be back. Then onwards she flew, while the stars seemed to glow with a shimmer of white like the first flakes of snow. Thanks for listening. See you next time. <laughs>